Welcome back to Jula class and now we are looking at this booklet 6 electrical system and now we are focusing on part A electricity. So first you need to understand that electricity is actually a form of energy that cannot be stored. And now I believe you might be asking how about batteries? And actually battery is stores chemical potential energy which are converted into electricity. Okay, And this electricity can be used to produce light, heat, sound and movement okay and that's about electricity and when it comes to electricity it's important to understand that there's two items here which is called the electrical conductor or electrical insulator so what is the difference between conductor and insulator so conductor is something or materials that allow electricity to pass through them easily but on the other hand Insulators are materials that doesn't allow electricity to pass through them easily. Okay, so some of the examples here we have like um, all metals. Basically, all metals are electrical conductor, such as iron, steel, aluminium. But there are also some non-metals. They are actually allowing electricity to pass through them, such as like graphite, salt solution. Okay, on the other hand, insulator. I would say that most non-metals are actually um, insulated, such as uh, paper, rubber, or plastic. Okay, so that's basically conductor and insulator. And it's actually very common later when you do the question, you will be seeing that they're trying to form a circuit. For example, I have battery here. Then example, I have a bulb here. Now, and here is the place that I will put something, either a conductor or an insulator. And if I put a conductor here, example I here I say um, an iron here, then you will see that it, this bulb actually light up. But if I change it to be an insulator, example I put a maybe a rubber here instead, then there will be no light. Okay, so that's basically uh, a few questions that you'll be seeing from this part. Okay, next part you need to know about the dangers of electricity. So as you know, most electrical appliances and wires are actually covered with these insulating materials. Again, insulating materials basically means uh, the insulators. And the usage is to don't allow electricity to pass through them easily. And this also actually protect us by preventing us from in contact or to have a direct contact with this electricity. Okay, And this will help reduce the risk of electric shock and potential fatalities okay and um, of course sometimes it might create fire hazard also so for example as we can see from this picture when an electrical power outlet is overloaded with too many appliances okay, as you can see we put a lot of like charge there but this is very dangerous because you are drawing many power from the same point and it generates heat and this heat can lead into a fire outbreak, okay, which is very, very dangerous. So you need to be very, very careful with that. And of course, after understanding about the dangers of electricity, we also need to learn how to conserve electricity. So what we can do is we can turn off and unplug appliances when we are not in use, and we can use energy efficient appliances here, okay? Some of the light bulbs is energy saving light bulbs, okay? So I believe uh, by learning this page, you know, get to know a bit more about electricity. And again, is, and electricity is very useful in our daily life, but it's actually also very dangerous. Okay, that's all from this uh, video. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.